This year's election will see a growing population among young voters, specifically Gen Z. The extra engagement has come from tactics like social media that politicians have used to try and target one of their most impacted age groups. 2822 News reporter Gianna Gali spoke with a diverse population of Gen Zers and political experts regarding the connection between the youthful generation and our politicians. It was move-in day for first-year students at Wilkes University Thursday. As they made their way around campus, there's plenty on their minds, including the November election. Pretty much forced on you everywhere. Hamburger, who plans to vote in November, was one of several students 2822 News spoke with about the role and impact Gen Z will have on the 2024 presidential election. More than 40 million Gen Zers, those born between 1997 and 2012, will be able to vote in November. 8 million will cast their ballots for the first time. And there are many factors that could influence who they choose. We're finally getting more and more voters from the Gen Z generation. And I think for politicians to, to meet that audience where they're at is so cool. Lindsay Scorey is talking about posts to TikTok like this from the Democratic Party nominee Tim Walz. The social media app resonates strongly with Gen Z. <laughs> and celebrity artists taking the stage during the Democratic National Convention. It's kind of ironic. You want that tactic of social media to get them involved, but if it's used the wrong way, uh, it could go, it could backfire. Inflation, reproductive rights, and climate change are key issues that will have a great impact on the younger generation. But these issues are a lot to think about at a young age. And one Wilkes University professor feels it's all added to a challenging time. That 18 to 30 time frame, you're trying to figure out who you are as an adult, what you want to be. What we know in terms of political science research is that usually people by the time they turn 25 start to figure out who they are, what they believe, what their values are. Some students at the University of Scranton feel those concerns may ultimately influence Gen Z's engagement in this election. A lot of them are very opinionated. Um, they have good thoughts that are worth hearing, um, but a lot of people might not feel confident in sharing them. It's just kind of like this interesting link of like, oh, okay, like they see us, they care about us, you know, we feel seen by them, so we're going to vote for them because, you know, they can speak for us and make change for us. That was Gianna Gali reporting. Now, according to a poll done by the Associated Press, 36% of Gen Z identify with the Democratic Party.